Hi, this reading is going to be for, wait, who am I doing first? <laughs> water signs. Water signs. Let's do water signs. Okay, so who are water signs? Oh my gosh, my kids are so spoiled. Look at all the toys they have back there. Let me try to turn this so you guys don't have to stare at toys all day. Um, so who is water signs? Scorpio, Pisces. Hmm. I don't know who else. Is that better? You guys don't have to stare at the kids' toys all day. Scorpio, Pisces. There's one more water sign I'm missing. I don't know. All right, anyways, let's get started. So before I get started, uh, there was some stuff that I wanted to show you guys. So I got, and I'm gonna link their, um, I will link their Instagram below. I got this stuff a while back and I meant to show you guys because I've been so enamored with these things that I got. So I wanted to show you guys and let you know what I got. Hold on. Um, but I kept forgetting. So this right here, you see this? It is a Kundalini snake. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. It's made of resin, okay? And it's a wall hanging. You see how it has the little thing on the back okay um my friend on instagram makes these um her she goes by moon bunny magic this i don't know how she did it okay because it is resin right you can tell that it's resin but it looks like this part of the snake is like etched or something or paint. i don't know <clears throat> i don't even know how to describe it it looks like it's etched. It might be painted, but it looks etched. Let me see if I can show you. Like, <clears throat> see how it looks etched? And it's it's absolutely stunning. It has flowers in there. There's glitter. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I was immediately drawn to it when I just saw. Did you guys just see that orb? divine guidance I just saw an orb go whoop. it was like the first two minutes and 33 seconds in so if you guys watch this video rewind it to like the two minute and it was around two minutes 30 maybe it was 38 and I saw an orb go whoop. that shows you that my spirit guides are heavy and I haven't even got started so anyways um I was immediately drawn to That was definitely the cat. But um, my camera just like went in and out really weird. It does that sometimes too. When my spirit guides are heavy. <laughs> but anyways. Oh, so distracted. Okay. So it's really beautiful. I was immediately drawn to it because it's a kundalini snake. Um... And it's, it's absolutely stunning. It's Shakti energy. It's beautiful. So she goes by Moon Bunny Magic on Instagram. I will link her Instagram. And this next thing, oh my gosh, you guys. I probably should have showed you this a long time ago. This thing is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I can't even do it justice on this camera. Look at that. So my friend... The light is like making it look weird. Okay. So come on, kitty cat. I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> My friend Morgana paints these. She, hold on one second, guys. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> My cat was freaking out and playing with his toy. So my friend Morgana paints these. She's extremely talented. Extremely talented. Um... And that is just like a, um, it's a, like, I don't even know. It, I want to say like it's a photocopy, but it, it's not. It's like a replica of her actual art. Um, she sent it, she painted it and like she sent me um, a picture of the original and it was like, it was absolutely stunning. Um, she used like actual sea salt to give the, the, 
painting texture um, and everything in the trees. So the original was absolutely stunning. <laughs> um, and then she um, wanted to keep it because she made it for me as a gift and then was worried about it getting damaged when she was shipping or something like that. So she ended up sending me um, a copy of it. Um, I think she eventually did figure out how to send an actual painting without um, there being any issues. But before, I mean, it was she was brand new to the process. It was trial and error. So she sent me like a replica of what she originally painted for me. And it's absolutely stunning. And I'm so grateful. Um, and I think she gave it to me last year. And I'm just getting around to like <laughs> showing this beautiful stuff off because I've been just really busy um but I wanted to do that because I just felt source guided to do it today and I'm gonna link both of their Instagrams below so that you guys can take advantage of the stupid cat again okay so without further ado let us go into water signs <clears throat> readings my throat is absolutely parched today I don't know why um so I brought out my new deck too um I brought out my Akashic Records Oracle cards this is a new deck. It's Well, it's fairly new. I bought it, I want to say, about maybe in February. It's by Amanda Romania. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it wasn't that expensive. I feel like it should have been priced way more. It was like $21 on Etsy. And it's a handmade Oracle deck. Like, you know, she makes them herself. Um, and you know I'm all about that because I just made my first deck. Um... When did I make it? When in March? Was it March? Maybe it was in April. <laughs> I forgot. But I just made my own first deck. So I'm all about the handmade decks. Um, and it's really beautiful. Um, it's just, it's not illustrations or anything like that. But there's, it's just a beautiful deck. Um, and she is a master. Let's see. Master Akashic Librarian. Um, absolutely beautiful. So if you guys are into Akashic therapy, check it out. That um, is for you. I felt guided to use that deck today. So, okay. Let's get right into it. I've been blabbing my jaws off. You guys, I made some mahi-mahi tonight, some fish. Oh, it was so good. Um, I used this recipe for this, like, special fish sauce that um, you actually, like, prep it in the microwave and you put it on, you drizzle it on top of the fish. And it, like, cooks with the fish and it uses the natural fish oils. Um, is that right? Fish oils. <laughs> To make the, um, you know, the, to marinate the sauce. And it, I was so good. It was so good. It was so good. And then I made some um, garlic butter shrimp. Yeah, it's garlic butter shrimp. I was trying to think of that. What's, that's what it was. But yeah, because um, you know me, you guys, I'm a pescatarian. I don't eat any beef. I don't eat any chicken. I only eat fish, seafood, and a lot of vegetables. All right. You know, hot girl summer coming up. We gotta, we can't be so thick. Cause I'm thick. My nose is already it getting itchy. Oh my gosh. Whenever I start channeling. Okay, so I know a lot of channelers also get that, that problem. All right, so we are reading now for water signs. Um, shoot. Spirit guides. Oh, I need to get some new ducks. This one is so old. I've had it since I was 15, but I'm so in love with it. Uh, spirit guides, higher self, ancestors, archangels, right? We are reading for water signs. What do they need to know for the rest of May, beginning of June, please? I keep moving my whole camera. It's a good thing I got it on the tripod. Yeah, this deck is super old, so it's very accurate for me because I, I think I've... I mean, I've exaggerated. I didn't have it since I was 15. I probably had it, like, in my 20s. But, I mean, I'm 40 now, so it's a long time to have a deck. Super old, you guys. But it's it's in really good condition for being that old. Like, it's it was a very 
a high quality deck when I bought it. I bought it at this, we used to call it the witch's store. There's nothing coming out. Ooh, there's one. Judgment came out in reverse. Um, yeah, we used, me and my friend Jamie, we used to call it the witch's store, the witch's store, because they sold incense, crystals, like witch spells book, witch spells books, witch spells, witches spell books, um, tarot cards, like all just sorts of esoteric stuff. And I loved that store. It was in Oklahoma, Michigan, which is close to where I'm from. I'm from Lansing, Michigan. But the store closed down, um, I want to say about 10 years ago. And I miss that store. All right, what do we got for our water signs? Oh, you guys got the hermit. You guys are doing some major healing right now, water signs. But you're definitely, it's good. The judgment came out in reverse. So it's like letting go of the past. Wow. With the hermit, with some healing meditations. That's amazing. Okay. Let's get some more cards out. You have Knight of Pentacles that came out too. So for some of you, it's like some a new like flirting with the idea of some new money making project. Whoa! All right, that's it. Why are all of your guys' cards coming out in reverse today? So you got the Knight of Pentacles. It came out in reverse, so it feels like hold on. Oh, the fish I ate today was so salty. I put too much salt. I used sea salt. Um, and it was fine grain, but it was really, I don't know. I, I need to get a shaker for it because I just used it. I didn't, I didn't have time to put it in the shaker. So I just left it in the big container and I used it and it was, so it was a little bit salty. Not too bad, but more salt than I normally eat. So I feel bloated and. Thirsty. Okay, so you guys got the Knight of Pentacles, and it felt like you're flirting with the idea of some new, um, it's just a tiny, tiny, tiny spark of an idea for like a money making something or another, right? It's, okay, let me show you these cards. So you, you got Judgment, but it came out in reverse. So up, upright, it's the past, um, it's Libra energy, you know, obviously the scales. Um, but it's uh, right side up. It is like um, the past, you know, the past coming back to haunt you. Um, it could be like getting what you deserve, blah, 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 karma, all that stuff. doesn't feel like, oh, this, this bra. It's a fairly new, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's a, I'm a, I'm a top heavy girl, you know, um, and I got a new bra and it's just, it's, I'm, I'm breaking it in. All right, so there's also a key here, okay? So that's going to be significant for, it's so weird. It seems like a lot of readers have been channeling the key lately. The key, the key um, is going to be important. Okay, but it came out in reverse. So it's like healing a lot of stuff from the past. Um, and it came out right next to the hermit. So yeah, there's definitely some healing energy going on. Now the Knight of Pentacles is, um, it's a, you know, a knight is holding a coin. There's a turtle. It's like slow and steady wins a race. So it's just you've been flirting with this idea of this new business venture, right? But you've been unsure about it. You've been kind of taking your time, mulling it over. I'm getting this very hesitant energy with the turtle. So be careful to not sit in this energy too long of like, I'm not sure what to do. Because then I, I'm afraid it's, you're gonna, it's going to get stagnant. So, you know, I don't know. And then also because it came out in reverse, I feel like be careful that this, um, that you're not rushing into this investment. Like, you know, um, I know it sounds like counterproductive because I'm like, oh, don't stay in the energy too long. But, you know, make a decision. 
but don't rush into it. But here's the thing, like I feel like if you do rush into it too quickly um, without kind of trying to see things from all angles, um, it, it could possibly fall through. Um, it, it doesn't feel like a long-term money thing because it was Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like there's a different money-making things that you could do that will better suit you. Does that make sense? Okay, that's what I'm hearing from Spirit. Um, but, they're, but they're saying, you know, um, try to come to a decision because... You know, we, we also don't want to miss our chance. So, yeah, I'm so, I don't know. How do you expect them to deal with that spirit? It's like they want you to make a decision, but then they're saying don't rush into it. So it's like, ah. Uh, and I know, like, water signs, you guys have trouble, like, making decisions anyways because you guys are, like, overthinkers just like Virgos are. And so, you know, it's not so hard. And spirits not making it any easier. But that's literally what they're saying. I'm sorry. Okay, and then you got the world in reverse. So the world is, like, it's... It's just abundance of everything. It's like feeling unconditional love. Um, there's fruit on the card. So it's it's pretty good energy. But it came out in reverse. So I feel like right now when it came out next to the Knight of Pentacles. And since it was talking about like a new business venture. I feel like right now. Um, the reason you're having such a hard time making this financial decision is because you've been feeling like, a, um, oh, I don't know how to describe this. So spirit keeps saying like scarcity consciousness, but it's, it's like feeling like you don't have enough, like almost like not trusting the universe. Like there's a lack and that puts us in a weird vibration because when you're feeling like, oh, I don't have enough of this or I don't have enough of that, then the universe goes, okay, you don't have enough. And so then they just keep not giving you things. Does that make sense? Because, you know, it's like the law of attraction is whatever you're, you are focusing on and um, thinking about is what you're going to bring into your reality. Whatever is going on in here is also going on out here. Does that make sense? I hope I'm explaining that in a way that you guys can understand. So if you're focusing on the fact, I don't have enough of this, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough friendship, I don't have enough love, I don't have enough things, the universe is gonna say, okay, you don't have enough of these things and it's gonna keep bringing you that energy of not having enough, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it feels like to me. And on the bottom of the deck, you guys got the lovers. So for some of you, it's going to be a new love. For some of you, water signs. Or it could be, um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, a, cho a choice in love. All right. So the next deck we're going to do is my Thos Tarot. And we're going to do a shadow pull. This is my shadow deck. Um, it's the deck that very often, all of the time, drags me and all of the signs. I don't think I did it for the other two sign groups, which were air and who else did I do? Air and earth. But I might have did it for air, but not for earth, I think. All right, we're reading for water signs. Spirit guides, can we get something? Our beautiful water signs, please. I think after this, I'm going to read for fire signs. And then I might just do a past life reading with my Akashic deck. I'm thinking. I've been getting a lot of requests for love readings um, and my in light language. So I'm going to try to bring out some more of those. My Patreons like those. All right. Do we got any shadows or anything that needs to be um, shown for our water signs? They're like, hey, oh no. Oh, shoot. All right, one second. And as soon as I said that, a card flew out. Prince of Discs. Again, this is a money issue. But it came out, it came out right side up this time. Prince of Discs. Again, but it's like, it's, it's some, it feels like a money issue. And it's, it's Prince of Discs. If you notice, this is, it's very, very, very strong Taurus energy. Look, there's a bull right here. I feel, hmm, 
All right, it feels like you guys are, the reason you're experiencing this lack consciousness, water signs, I'm sorry, I know, you know, like whatever spirit tells me, I always, I spit it out, I don't, I don't sugarcoat anything. So a lot of people don't like that, but you know, I, everything that I channel is for your highest good. It's, it's so that you can grow. It's, it's not to fucking, oh God, there I go. <laughs> there comes the mouth. So I cost, I'm sorry. Um, a lot of people don't like that either, but it's, you know, it comes so natural to me. It's, it's just, it's part of who I am. <laughs> um, especially when I get fired up and passionate, but anyways, I'm not here to fucking rainbows and unicorn shit out of my ass like I'm here to help you be your best self and to grow and the only reason I I teach all of this and I'm I'm very like mm -mm, because you know I'm I, I I learned it the hard way and I don't want you to go through a lot of this shit that I went through we all have to learn lessons yes but if I can um, get you to that fork in the road and take you this way in your lesson and down a little bit of an easier path Then by all means allow me to Okay, so this is Taurus energy and I keep constantly feeling like the reason that you guys are experiencing this lack consciousness right now Is because you're very stubborn about letting go of your money Now this this theme has been coming up of you have to give to receive and I had to learn this the hard way literally like I was there. I was there. I was in the scar. The the. I was there in the lack complex for a really, 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 really long time. Really long time, um, and I struggled. Um, and I held on to whatever little bit of money that I had, and I was I couldn't make any ends meet at all. Um, and it was like that for a while. Um. You know, I got a divorce and then it became worse. And now, like, things are finally starting to fall into place. You know, I created my tarot deck. Um, my, I'm sorry, not my tarot deck, my oracle deck. Um, it, I ordered, like, ten, I think it was 10. And they immediately sold. I think there's two left. Um, so it was, it was welcomed very well in the spiritual community. And I'm so grateful for that um and you know my clientele it was like just from january of this year like exploded <laughs> whereas like last year i had no clients i had like one maybe you know um and then it's i i don't i don't know i lost count of how many i had this year but it and it's mainly it was because i decided that whatever little money i had i was just going to still give to other people like I donated to a couple of my friends' channels and not like a small amount like 50 to 70 dollars like a significant amount and this is when I only had like what like 300 dollars to my name <laughs> so I was just giving my money away and you know and even though in my head like I'm saying what like no like you need this money like you have three kids you're trying to save for a house like what are you doing but the minute that I started doing that, you guys, it was like the universe thought, okay, you have enough to give away. And it started gifting me all of this stuff. But that's when my clients started exploding. That's when my Oracle deck, which I didn't expect to sell so many in such a short amount of time. And it just, they just, I mean, I couldn't keep them. It was just like, I think the first week that I got them, I had only ordered, like, I didn't order enough. I had, like, three. And then I had, like, ten people on back order. Like, it was in such high demand. And I was so shocked by <laughs> all of that. And I think it was because I shifted that, um, you know, that lack consciousness and into I have enough. I'm giving it out. And the universe said, okay. And so that's how you fix that, um scarcity consciousness you know and switch it into i have enough and the universe will make sure that you have enough believe me and now you know since i switched that little switch like now i i i actually have enough money now so that i can move out and i'm house hunting or apartment hunting or wherever like i mean i'm just looking to get out of here so i went from having nothing to having a significant amount of money saved so that i can move out with my children so now i'm just trying to find the perfect place <laughs> and that is <laughs> who 
something entirely different in itself. Uh, it's been rough. Okay, so you got death, which is change. So you got some big changes coming in. Um, water signs. Now, this came out as a shadow, so be careful that you are fighting, not fighting off these changes, that you're embracing them. And then you got four of swords in reverse. It was truce, but it came out in reverse. So it is, it's not like a truce keeping the peace because it came out in reverse. It's like fighting, squabbles, um, conflicts. Be careful of that energy. We're going to move on to the other, the weight, Rider weight deck. Now this deck, I love it, but it's not very high quality. The card stock, I, when I originally purchased it, I thought it was like an actual real tarot deck. Come to find out it was like card stock that somebody printed off and it's, I was not happy. Okay. But I had no idea. And that's what happens when you buy stuff online. You got to be careful sometimes that you don't get fucked. All right. So what do we got for our... This the reading's already getting way too long. What do we got for our earth signs for the end of May, beginning of June? And, you know, a lot of people, you guys will watch these readings, like, not even in the month that I do them. And they'll be like, wow, this resonated for, the, for me. At this time, even though, you know, I just watched your um, June or June, I just watched your, someone had contacted me and said, I just watched your April reading and I just watched it this month and she's like, and it resonated so hard. And I always feel like, yes, I, I make them for the, the, a certain month, but um, the timelines are always different. Everyone's always in different timelines. Everyone's energy is always shifting, so keep that in mind. So whenever you decide to watch the video is when it's for you. That your energy, your soul will know what you need to hear at a certain time. So always trust your gut. When you feel like you want to watch a reading, you know, when I did it, it's two months back, whatever. It's because you do probably need to watch it and your soul is, there's something in there a message for your soul okay so what else we got going on earth signs did i say earth signs why did i say earth signs i'm doing fucking water signs aren't i i don't know what the hell's going on it's kind of warm in here we got to get our air conditioner up in the window pretty soon because i'm not liking this then i'm the next place i'm going guys I, i'm gonna i'm gonna have to have central air because i cannot this whole like, oh, we'll just wait and install the window in the air conditioner. Or the, the window in the air conditioner. <laughs> the air conditioner in the window. I don't know. Oh, it's just too much. New nope, A card flew out. Hold on. Okay. You guys got five of swords. This is like an energy of seven of pentacles, the moon. Okay, let me get a few more cards out so I can figure out what's going on. Can I get two more cards, please, sir? There's one. These ones all came out of right. You got five of swords, seven of pentacles, the moon, page of pentacles. You guys have a lot of work-related stuff right now going on. I don't know. I'm not liking this five of swords energy, though. It feels like someone is not being honest about something. And you got king of pentacles. Lots of pentacles. Okay. So, Five of Swords is this energy of, like, fucking cockiness. I don't like it. It's like, see see how this, these cards are bent? They're such poor quality. They're so thin. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to have to get a new Rider weight deck, a really good one. I was definitely not happy with this. Okay, so you see how he's got a sword? Um, it's like he's... He, so the energy is of someone taking something that doesn't belong to them and it's done in a shady type way. Okay. Um, this guy is looking at these other two guys. He's got all of these swords. It looked like he took their swords from them or maybe he won them in battle. 
but he's got this smug kind of look on his face. So th to me, this card is, it always talks about like, almost like a sore loser energy. It's, um, it's very, um, what is the word I want to use? I was going to say narcissistic, but it's not that bad, but it, it's almost like a, a conceited type energy. Um, it came out right next to the seven of pentacles. So I don't know. It's this because the seven of pentacles is like um, a seed that you planted and, you know, you have to just kind of wait for it to grow. You can't force anything like once that seed, once you plant it, you can't sit there and like miracle grow it to to fucking like, uh, to you know, you can't miracle grow it to speed up the process. It has to take its time. But there's the energy of like, I don't know, it feels very, I don't know, I don't like it. It feels very like, oh God, I, I just keep hearing conceited, like super conceited. Um, and I feel like that's why, I don't know, I feel like that's why you're not seeing the results that you want, maybe. I don't know. No. Scratch that. So, this is... I, I was going to say that it has something to do with your energy. But it's not. Spirit is saying it's not It's not yours. It's... Oh, it's somebody else's. Okay, that's there's clarification. Um, they're saying it's something like... Somebody is not liking your growth and the decisions that you're making, but they're okay. Thank you. And then you got the moon card next to it. So whoever this person is, they are like keeping it to themselves. It's very secretive about it. And I don't know why, excuse me, but they definitely, it feels really weird. Like almost like they want to like stop your growth. Does that make sense? Because with the seven of pentacles, you do have a lot of growth. I can see it. There's been so many changes, so many positive changes, but the five of swords energy is like, I feel like it's someone and it's someone that you're close to. Yeah. It's someone, it's, it's, it's possibly a family member, even a spouse. And they're not liking this new you. Does that make sense? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Because I was like, wait a minute. This... Okay. Came through really clear after that. I just had to listen to what they were saying. Um, the moon's also about using your intuition. You probably already know who it is. Um, I feel like you definitely do know. Yeah, you probably do. Because the moon's intuition. So it might not be a secret to you. It doesn't matter though, because the next card that you got is the page of pentacles. So with that little idea that you were flirting with before, it you're going to go for it. Look, page of pentacles came out upright. And the next card is king of pentacles. So it's putting in that hard work. It's getting shit done, water signs. Putting in the hard work, getting shit done, and then reaping the the, the benefits and the reward. I mean, it's not going to happen right away. It's going to be slow and steady. Again, we got the bull, Taurus energy. Slow, steadfast like the bull, stubborn. <laughs> but putting in the work. I can see whatever it is that you've invested in with that... There, you guys got the Page of Pentacles, I think, last time. What was it? Or was it in reverse? Oh, what was it? Mm, let me check. Oh, I think I put it back and lost it. Knight of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Remember? So you were thinking about it. You were unsure. You go for it, and it reaps some rewards. But you're not going to see them right away. It's going to come slow. On the bottom of the deck, you guys got Justice again. See? 
Oh, it wasn't justice last night. It was judgment. Wasn't it judgment? <laughs> Confused. I think it was judgment. Yeah, it was judgment. Justice. So, something balancing out in your favor. Yeah, see? So, that family member that has been trying to stifle your growth, it's not going to work. Something's going to shift, and it's in your favor. So, that's good. All right, what are we going to do next? Why don't we do the sexual tarot magic? Because this reading is getting super long. Well, Because this is going to be part of your love portion. We'll do a card from your person with my beautiful deck that I created with the stunning Kimberkiss, who did the wonderful artwork for that beautiful deck. Such an amazing co-creation. All right, what do you got for our water signs for their love life? Then we'll do a um, past life Akashic card and see what we got. All right, what do we got for our water signs for their love life? Please. Woo! Let's see what you got, what you got. Let's do two cards, Spirit, please. Whoa, that one came out quick as fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> Some of y'all are going on a damn date. Oh, what else do we got? Oh, the hermit. All right, yep. I definitely see a date. Look, they're on a date. It's two of wands, and it's going to happen quickly, it feels like. So for some of you that are not in a relationship, Keep an eye out for someone asking you out on a date. Um, water signs. Ooh, there's fire. Lots of passion. It's going to be a passionate one. Very steamy. There's something very weird and secretive about this because she's playing footsies with them under the table. So, I don't know. Maybe they don't want people to know right away. Maybe they work together. So, you know... There is something secretive about it. It's like we have to like keep it a secret for a while. Maybe they just don't want people to know right away because they could be like work colleagues or something. Feels like. But there's fire on here twice. All right. And then the you got the hermit card. And it feels like someone. Ooh, you know what it feels like? See, if you look at this card, like, he looks really sad and alone. And there's a couple in the background. It feels like um, someone, like, missed their chance with you, water signs. They sure did. There's, he's this guy's just sitting there all lonely with his card. His, with his card. <laughs> with a candle. His light went out. <laughs> yeah. He, his, his light went out. He feels... <laughs> I don't know. I just keep hearing he feels dimmed. I don't know. Like, like you stole his light. I don't know. And then he's watching her with another person. So this could be someone that's watching you. It could be a cross watcher. Or it could be he's just lonely. I don't know. It could be your energy. Maybe you guys are have been lonely for a long time. So when this energy of date comes out, you're going to be like, woohoo. So I don't know. Let's read it from the book anyways, too. So Two of Wands, is, I remember it's something about sharing every bite of food with someone and not losing yourself or something like that. Nearness, the magic of the sliced bread. Sharing every bite of food to unite with another person without losing yourself. See? So it's about getting into a relationship and like not losing who you are at the core of your being. We don't do that anymore. That was when we were lower vibrational beings. <laughs> we're, I mean, you shouldn't anyway. You sh if you're, <laughs> I feel like if you found my channel, then you're, you're definitely like not in that, um, in that, that stage anymore like hopefully you've at least learned the basics which is you know we don't do any of that codependent shit anymore we don't do any of that um i when i date you i become a, a whole fucking i morph into you and i lose who the fuck i am i don't talk to any of my peers and you know i mean fuck that <laughs> please tell me you're not there <laughs> and that you're way past that and you've learned at least those lessons Okay, the hermit. Refusal. I told you somebody screwed up. They missed their chance. 
retention of yes retention of the seed slowing down your pace allows the magic to germinate okay when the psychic force is restrained its power is doubled okay so for some of y'all just you know slowing down is going to work your magic on someone and then they're going to want to you know you know All right, so let's do a card from your person for those of you that are in relationships or for those of you that are in separation and you you know that you're a twin soul. This is for you guys. A lot of twin souls right now are in separation. So it's not just you. I know literally of like five different twin souls right now who are in a separation phase. It seems to be the running theme. So it's cool, you guys. You're not the only ones. All right, what do we got for our water signs? But hopefully we can give you some answers here or give you some kind of insight into how your person is feeling. Something just flew off my table. Damn ghosts be coming in through these damn portals I have in my house. <laughs> Lots of windows, face, and doors here. All right, let's get like two two cards from Water Signs person. Oh, my nose is so itchy, guys. My allergies been acting full force too, and I didn't have a chance to vacuum this weekend. So freaking busy with stuff. Oh, see, I told you. I'm sorry. I know I hurt you. That's what it says. I'm sorry. I know I hurt you. I told you someone's feeling some regret for sure. I, I was picking it up heavy when the hermit card came out. Someone was feeling lonely like they they screwed up. What else do we have for our water signs? Oh, look it. I wish you could hold me right now. They're definitely in their feels. They're feeling like you, water signs. My beautiful, emotional water signs. They're feeling it. Let's do one more. Just for shits and giggles. Oh, my God. Claim me. I'm ready. <laughs> so they went from this energy of, I totally screwed up. I hurt your feelings. Um, I wish you could be with me right now. I wish you could hold me. They're just feeling all, they're in their feels. They know they fucked up. <laughs> and they're just like, come back. Come back. I'm ready. Claim me. Let me claim you. I'm ready. I fucked up. <sighs> all right. We're going to do an Akashic card for you guys. We're going to be done. This reading is disgustingly long. Ugh. All right. What do we got for our water signs? What do they need to know for their highest good spirits? For a beautiful water sign. Some of you won't even make it this far. You'll be like, oh, fuck this shit. It's too long. <laughs> and it is. I'm sorry. Spirit is just fucking heavy today. And they got a lot of shit they want to say. Uh, it's like 2 a.m. here, too. Okay, what do we got for our water signs? Let's wrap this up, please. Oh, my God. I don't even know if I can shuffle these. Because I forgot these cards are very smooth. Ooh, never mind. They gave us one right away. Oh, number 21, life between lives. Wow. Oh, it feels very, um, some of you, this is like, it feels like astral travel. Um, a lot of you are doing mission work while you're sleeping, like you're traveling in your dreams. It feels very too like, oh gosh, life between lives. Um, I keep seeing like spirit babies. So for some of you, it's it's babies waiting to be born. That's why it says life between lives. I'm seeing like um, embryonic fluid. It's weird. Um, I just heard waiting. Like a waiting... Um, Waiting for something. What are you waiting for? It's number 21. If you add it up, it's three. I feel like someone had a near-death life experience, too. That's what it, it feels very... Um, 
you know how like when you I, I just I just talked to someone too earlier in the store when I went to get um some water I went to buy water right and I was talking to some girl there about my channel which I, I never do that I'd like I don't especially people in my hometown nobody in my hometown knows that this is what I do <laughs> like they just don't I don't have any friends around here like I just I don't I don't talk to any of my neighbors like nobody knows that I do this but for some reason when I met this person this woman and we were talking about I had bought something and I said you know when I get my own place I'm gonna um, get a desk and I'm gonna put this plaque on my desk for my my YouTube channel that's why I bought it and the little plaque says every day I'm hustling and I said you know that way you can remind me to stay on my game you know and she started laughing and then we started talking and she said that she was a psychic medium and so it was really cool so we connected and so I knew spirit when I start talking to people I'm not I'm not I'm not like super social when I go out you know even though we're supposed to be because I'm a Leo or you know I'm a very private person and I, you know I'm very personal like I'll smile and be like hello but I don't really connect with a lot of people and start talking and chatting them up I'm just like hi um, bye kind of thing so but we were talking about how when you have past life experiences and um you know how like a lot of the times your gifts will start to appear when you have those out of body experiences like when you die and then you come back. So and it felt very relevant because she had actually was pronounced dead for a little while. And I noticed when I had a near death experience when I gave birth to my son London, right? Um, I actually almost flatlined on the table. Um, I was I passed out. My blood pressure dropped dangerously low. I had lost an ex extreme amount of blood. And I was about to flatline. Like, they lost my pulse. It was dangerously low. That they, It was barely registering on the machine. It was it slowed super down. And when my blood pressure dropped and I had passed out, they pretty much thought that I was going to die and they were going to lose me. And so they... Um, they my heart rate was so low that they actually took an adrenaline shot and stabbed it into my thigh and that's what woke me up um so but i noticed that after that and this was in 2017 um i think yeah 2017 um and i noticed that my gifts were my ability to um, see into um, the energy around me, see into the future, into the now, whatever you want to call it. My um, clairvoyance or whatever, um, my clear audience, all of that, it was enhanced. So that's what this feels like. It feels like somebody in a near death. Okay, number 21, life between lives. There is a contract or a connection made before you reincarnated upon the planet. Journey into the life between lives to review the role or work you or another carries on in this realm. Wow. Review the connection to the masters and guides in the other dimensions. So see, yes, yeah, some of you have some really strong connections to the other side. It could be like dead loved ones, ancestors. Review the issue from the position of self or another or from the universe. So it's just, it's being tapped in to source energy. And the oneness of the universe, obviously. It's allowing yourself to be an open channel. That's what I do. This These messages don't come from me. They come from source. I'm an open channel. All right, so that's it. This reading is like almost an hour long. We got to shut it down. It's like 50 minutes. If you want to book a reading, all of my prices are in the description box below. I chitter chatted a lot, so thanks for putting up with me, guys. I love you so much. If you want to purchase my deck, all of the information is always below, too. The deck is $50 US dollars. Local shipping, $6. If you live like overseas and it's like international shipping, that ranges between $23 and $30. Yes. So, but people have been doing it. Like, I mean, I've had a lot of, 
I've actually had more international clients purchasing this deck than like domestic. It's, it's so ridiculous, but I love it. I mean, it's just, it's, I mean, it's ridiculous because like I'm amazed that people would pay that much for shipping. But I mean, you know, it, I mean, it makes sense to me. It's worth it. So yes, it does make sense. But still, it's like, that's a lot of money for shipping <laughs> for an Oracle deck. And believe me, I'm blessed. I know the deck's worth it. I created it. Obviously, I know it's worth it. I put so much fucking time and energy and love and blood and sweat and tears into that, that damn deck. Fuck, damn right it's worth it. Fuck yeah, it's worth it. It's worth every penny. <laughs> I mean, it was a channeled labor of love straight from me and my guides. So yes. Um, but yeah, still a lot of money for shipping. All right, I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys.